today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty YouTuber and today I'm going to do what I think I do the most. I'm going to do a get ready with me. And today I'm going to talk about things that I have learned being on YouTube, uh, things that I have learned like recently and things that I have learned but I haven't started to do. I don't know if that makes sense at all. I really hope it does. And I'm going to use my side-by-side -side palette from Nabla. This is one of my favorite palettes. And I think I have a cat hair or an eyelash in my eye. Can't find it though. And I don't know if you notice. I don't know if it's showing. But I have tried to redo my setup. Like how I have my camera. And now I have my mirror here. I usually have it under the camera but not now so I guess I'm going to look a little bit over there which I hope is okay and maybe that should be the first thing to talk about I've actually written down some things that I want to talk about because I want to have so much as I can into this video and maybe I can start with that I'm going to write down the description which colors I'm using because I don't, I'm not going to say them now. So, maybe I should start with like the setup and everything. And one thing that I have learned is you don't need to have it perfect. Like that is, you don't need the perfect background, even though I really do want it. I don't want to have it like I have it now, but I have uh, no YouTube room, I have no filming room, I don't have space to have it. We are in, uh, I guess, a one bedroom apartment in English, in Sweden, it's a two. We don't go by bedroom, we go by room in Sweden, rooms. So yeah, I don't have any more space. And uh, that has to be totally fine. And I know it is, but I have for a long time always felt like not embarrassed, but I just have been looking at other videos from other people that I follow and they always have such a nice background, but I can't, like I don't have space, I, I don't live big enough. And also, this isn't a work for me. I guess if you are making money out of YouTube and that is your main income, I guess that you want it to be a little bit more perfect. Like, I am a totally normal human being that is doing YouTube videos on my free time. I have a full-time job outside of YouTube and uh, I don't make any money out of YouTube, so I I don't bother, or I try to not. I think I do bother a little bit, but I'm trying not to. And I think as long as it is okay, it has to work. Like I follow people that are filming on their smartphones and I don't see anything bad about that. If it works for you, if you like it, it is, you are happy with it, that is good. I could never do that though because I think I would like editing things. I think it's much easier with a camera. And that is like the more dry thing that I have and try to have the latest, like maybe the last year, that not everything has to be perfect because this is my hobby and this is just something that I'm doing and I don't want YouTube to stress me, like I don't want to feel forced to put up videos and I don't want to feel like I have to do everything perfect and I have learned that that is okay. 
that has been a struggle for me many many I'm trying to find a brush if you're wondering what I'm doing but I think I don't have any clean brushes of that one that has been a struggle for me just to let let it go and uh, <laughs> I've learned now that it doesn't matter hopefully you're watching me because of me <laughs> it should be that because the background and everything surrounding it's not that great and another thing that has to do with me as a person that I have learned now I have been thinking about this and I've been trying to be better to remember this but there is no expectations on me how I should act on YouTube I guess if you are maybe having a job you are going to school or you see other people I think we all have like expectations on how to act and how to be and I guess that a lot of people act a different way in different surroundings like how you are with your partner and how you are with your closest friend and how you are on work I guess that is completely different things and I really need to understand and learn that there is no expectations on me this is my little space on the internet this is my youtube channel this is where I can be whoever I want and do what I want and that has really like I think it started in the middle or was it the beginning of last year where I really was like I'm going to try maybe it was longer back I don't know but I want to try to be who I am and not who I should be like every other beauty YouTube gurus but the thing that I think it's a little bit hard for me is English is not my native language I can speak English as you can hear but I have a hard time to have my personality out when I'm speaking English which I guess if you do um, are bilingual or if you know more than one language but you only are like super comfortable with one I guess that you understand what I'm meaning about that I think it's hard to have my super true personality out on YouTube just because I'm not speaking my native language and <laughs> that is also a thing like I've always been yeah I'm not that good at English but I'm starting to realize that maybe I am maybe I am kind of good at English at least or maybe not <laughs> sometimes I have no idea and a thing that I have thought about for such a long time but I I still haven't been able to get past it that is I don't know if any of you have thinking have thought about this but I usually maximum have the same makeup in two videos um first the video either I get ready with me either I get ready with me when I put on the makeup or just a makeup video where I put on the makeup and then I maybe do a talky video or something like that and then I don't do more videos with that makeup look and for me it has always been like you're using that makeup look like it's okay to have it in two videos but then it is not okay and I don't know why I do think like that and have done it for so long because when other people have the same makeup look for like say, four videos it doesn't bother me at all I don't even think that I think about it but it feels like for me and myself it feels like I can't have it and I I don't know why and I can't like stop thinking of it which annoys the crap out of me and I want this year to be like the year that I figure out that 
it's okay to have the same makeup look in how many videos ever I want. It's not only supposed to be for a couple of videos. It is okay to have it in more videos, but for some reason I, I find it so hard and I have no idea why. Another thing that I really did learn last year when I had my no buy was that it is okay to mix things. Like it's okay to have different palettes in the same look and it is okay to mix and match brands and you can use whatever you want. This I think is a harder thing if you are on YouTube or if you maybe do, uh, I don't know, TikTok or Instagram a lot that using different brands and using different palettes for one look might feel strange and I know it is because I have done a lot of first impressions, reviews, like multiple looks one palette and stuff like that and it always feels like I have to use only one palette for a look but it is completely fine to not do that and I think that I've learned it last year like because of my no buy I couldn't always just do one. I had to take in other things and I really did try to do different things and I'm still trying to be so much better on it to use different palettes and different brands in the same look because I don't think that you need to only use one palette for one look. It's super okay to mix and match whatever you want. I hope if you're looking at this video and do you YouTube or yeah, makeup content that you can take my word on it that it is super okay. And if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I do wonder it myself. I, I see a lot of people doing like a wing with eyeshadow. And I always want to try it, but like it, it doesn't go any good. I've taken like this, these kind of brushes, more an eyeshadow, no, more liner brush. It doesn't work, so I did take this pencil brush, but it just looks a little bit messy. So I don't know why I did it. Maybe if I'm going over with the brush that I had my eyeshadow. Can I fix this mistake? Another thing that I learned last year and that I... <laughs> I'm a little bit torn about this. I don't really know what I think about it, but... If I... The, the people I follow, I know that a lot that like started... When I started on YouTube and the little community that I think I was a part of, um, we did okay. I'm just going to take away the faults. It was a lot of color back then and a lot of <laughs> crazy makeup and a lot of the people that I followed have either quit YouTube or more of them went into this more neutral makeup and I it feels like I'm going there too <laughs> like you see this and I think that it is hard to change like that. There I can really feel like you are expecting certain things from me even though that I know it's totally normal to change and it would be strange if I still like to do the same makeup that I did five years ago. I get that. and. I was one of these people that did super crazy makeup. No, my 
me not super crazy, but they did a lot of colorful looks and I didn't have it outside of YouTube. And at one point it felt like other people, other YouTubers looked down on you if you did super colorful makeup on YouTube, but you didn't wore it outside. But for me it has always been a way to express myself and like maybe that is not who I want to be when I go out and um, maybe it's not like what I want to represent no not represent I don't know how to phrase it but it's more like I do super colorful looks I do them because I do like them, but at the same time, it's just a way for me to be creative and have like a little makeup therapy for myself, if you get what I mean, and um, that is totally okay. And I am so happy that I have learned like to, it's totally fine to do a more neutral look because I do like this as well. I, This is more my style now than it was a couple of years back and it feels really great <laughs> that I am comfortable doing looks like this. I want to try to have out my things. It feels like this video <laughs> became a little bit more messier than I wanted it to be but I guess this is just who I am and this is the way I do YouTube I guess. I'm going to set my face just a little bit. I do really enjoy this powder. Oh, it looks disgusting. Uh, I did use up my Nabla powder and then I bought this one. This is from a Swedish brand called Beauty Act. Because I heard that those are pretty similar and I do like this as well. So if you live in the Nordics. I can recommend it. It's the Skin Hero Blur Powder. It looks like this and I f feel like I have in the color 1. I guess it's kind of transparent. Yeah, but it's yeah, I do I do really like it. I think it's really really good. And it's now, I don't know, is there anything more that I wanted to say? Is there anything more that I have learned? Because I have been, I put up my first YouTube video in 2014. It wasn't on, it wasn't Swedish. And that video is private now. And I, I have videos back from 2018 on my channel that you can watch when I went over to English and it just feels that I've changed a lot and especially like last year when I did have my no buy it feels like that was the biggest change for me and I was so afraid when I quit my no buy that I was going to go back to purchasing a lot of makeup again and being overwhelmed again but it hasn't been like that and now it's May and I still have only bought two eyeshadow palettes this year and yeah I have been some doing some declutters um, it hasn't come out yet because I haven't filmed okay when you are when I'm filming this, I haven't done an intro and an outro for it. Uh, I think I'm maybe going to do this, that now, but I will see which video that will come up first. But I did a lipstick declutter and uh, yeah, I haven't done anything to my eyeshadow palettes. A thing that I have done though is I don't have any eyeshadow palettes longer on the table. I don't know if you have followed me for that long, but at one point I did have a lot, like almost all my palettes, not all my palettes, but a lot of them on display. I don't have that anymore because I, it's not who I am anymore. 
and I guess that that makes me feel a little bit lost when it also comes to my makeup channel or to my YouTube channel because I don't know if I love makeup in the same way that I did a year ago I actually don't know if I do that or it's just maybe that I've changed my preference so I like other makeup makeup like that like, makeup like this even though maybe I always like this but not in the same way I don't really know and I don't know if this video turned out like things that I have learned being on YouTube but that is always one also one thing I need to really stop to compare myself with others and uh, just be I am maybe the confused youtuber maybe I am the one that can never stick to a thing maybe I am the one that is always losing track of what I talk about and maybe I just have to accept that that is me and maybe that is why some of you are staying with me I don't know um, I'm going to fix my eyebrows my mascara put honeydew in my waterline as usual from Colourpop so I will fix that and then I come back with the finished look the look is done for my lips I did use Famous from LH Cosmetics this is one of my favorite from LH Cosmetics I love this this is their Fantastics it's a really like balmy lipstick sheer coverage love it and another thing that I I don't know I don't think I mentioned it before but another thing that I still also trying to learn is that I don't need to look perfect like I am a normal human being that is not always perfect like yeah you see my hair today I yeah I don't know I really don't but yeah I do really hope that you like this get ready with me and it feels like the more videos I am doing right now I just sound more and more confused on everything but I do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do and I hope that I will see you in the next one bye